Okay, so for various reasons, what I want to do is make an induction heater. Now, one of the prime things uh, when you make an induction heater is the coil, and coil bending itself is kind of problematic. Now, for the induction heater, we need something pretty sturdy and pretty tough, and we're going to use this stuff. This is 8mm uh, copper pipe, which is quite flexible in itself, but the problem is, if you start to bend it, you get kinks in it. Now, there's lots of ways of bending this, and some people like to stuff a load of salt or sand in it and then peel the salt or sand back out by washing it in water. That really is a drag. It takes ages, and sometimes you just can't get it all out. Now, here's a little methodology for bending quite a nice coil using a former, and that's the former, which is a good old sturdy bit of steel pipe. This is actually 70 millimeters in diameter, so that's obviously how big the coil is going to be. You bend the coil according to the former size that you want. I want quite a large one because I want to put big things in there. Um, now, you're going to need a workbench. So insert the former into something sturdy that can hold it. And then we can form our coil on there. Now, you're not going to be able to bend the coil right the way from the start there. If you try to do that, you're going to make a mess. So what you want is a little bit of space so that as you begin to bend it, it'll form itself nicely round there, and you'll have a bit that you have to chop off that's a waste bit. There's nothing you can do about that. And all you really do is take it and bend it slowly. Don't try to do too big a bend. Just bounce it and pull it through, and it will begin to bend all by itself uh, quite nicely. And we continue doing that until we've got our bent coil. And there we go, one completed coil. So all we have to do now is straighten that up a little bit and cut it off. To straighten it up a little bit, bend it the other way. Again, not being too aggressive with it, especially at this stage, <laughs> because you've done quite a nice job. You'll be pretty irritated if you kink it up at this stage. So we can just saw that off. Okay, so there's your finished coil, five turns, 70 millimetres internal diameter. Now I've left the ends open because we might want to cool the coil if the coil gets too hot. So having a nice bend like that and a nice open tube means that we can actually pump some water in and out of there if we want to. And that is basically how you make an induction coil. Now the separation can just be adjusted by pulling it out or pushing it in because it acts like a spring and we get a nice even spacing. Anyway, that's how to make that bit of it. Thank you very much for watching.